top tips for designing listening tasks English lesson for English language teachers Hello, welcome back to your channel. I'm Zainab Hailan. This is English for Africa channel. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and of course I'll start by liking the video So it's believed that listening is the most important and the most neglected skill in SL or FL teaching so in this video lesson, I'm going to share with you six basic tips that will help you design effective listening tasks, tasks or activities at any level of education. Tip number one, select a purposeful and interesting topic. When you say uh, about, I mean, when we talk about topics, uh, you need to select topics that will help students to use authentic language and again, um, you need to focus on real life examples and also uh, you need to help your students uh, by using useful language for the learners. So listening tasks in the classroom should not just focus on conversation and magnetic speakers. Uh, the options are endless. Uh, for instance, news broadcasters, radio programs, listening to an interview with a famous politicians, actor, or a singer. Announcement such as train, station, or airport, and extra can also be used as the basis for effective and innovative language classroom activities. So your topics should have got variety and they have to be useful for language learners. Tip number two, procedure. Use certain procedure or framework when developing listening tasks. Having an appropriate text and a well-designed task still doesn't guarantee success in developing listening skills unless one uses them in a certain procedure or framework. With most classroom activities, there should be a beginning, middle, and end. So here is a quick summary of how you might want to enact a listening activity in three main stages. And these are pre-listening, while listening, and post-listening. Uh, sorry. The following table shows purposes of various activities involved in these uh, three stages. Let's see them one by one. We start with pre-listening. The purpose is to warm up or motivate your students to establish or activate background knowledge, to provide a listening purpose, to get students prepared. To achieve this, the teacher must carry out the following activities. Introducing the topic, asking few questions related to the topic or letting them discuss, Asking students to predict what they are going to listen, teaching keywords in context, checking if students are relaxed, setting a task and letting them read, giving clear instruction on how to perform the task. These are the teacher's activities. When it comes to while listening stage, uh, the purpose is to get students to manage a task by understanding the context. In order to achieve this, the teacher must carry out these activities and these are reading or playing the text according to the student's level, observing and guiding students, allowing them time to try their best, making them aware that they can interrupt and ask. The last stage is post-listening. Uh, the purpose of this stage is to check understanding, to share and reflect information, to relate experience to, takers, to the takers, to integrate the lesson with other skills and to make analysis of language formers. In order to achieve this purpose, uh, the teacher's activities include letting the students discuss and reflect their answers, giving them feedback, providing a related task, checking the students' work, and teaching some language items in the listening text. Tip number three, instruction. Give clear instructions and read the text clearly. When you talk about instructions, um, when given effective direction, students can engage with the material more effectively and ultimately have more proactive experiences. There are several steps teachers can take to ensure that their students understand instructions and able uh, to complete activities with ease. Some of the examples are below using clear and precise language, repeating your directions, explain the purpose of the tax, and extra. What is the level you need to follow when reading texts by yourself to your students? So in addition, if you don't have uh, podcasts to use and you are going to read the listening texts, you must read it clearly. 
uh, speaking clearly and effectively can make it much easier to communicate ideas clearly and accurately. Uh, so you need to slow down your speech, articulate each syllable and practice your diction. Tip number four, motivation. First, evoke the student's interest before you engage into the activity or task. We need to give listeners a purpose for listening. The quality and depth of listening is also enormously enhanced when the listener has the right mental state. So in other words, this means when he or she has given some forethought to what the listening passage is likely to contain. How you can create motivation? One way is to create a title, I mean to write a title for the listening passage on the board and then to ask the listeners to predict what they will hear. So in doing so, you can also teach key vocabulary before the listening activity that can also help the activation of learners' previous relevant knowledge. Let's see an example between teacher and his or her students. So the teacher uh, talks or starts uh, by uh, asking this question. You are going to hear uh, somebody talking about camels. He is a zoologist uh, who has studied them. What do you think he will talk about? The first student answers, answered by saying desert. The teacher responds by saying like this. Yes, he might mention desert too, so you are going to write the word desert on the board and then you can ask uh, for additional question. Anything else? This kind of student answered again. Water. Water on the camel's back. The teacher responds. He might mention what the camel has on its back. Uh, it's humped. Uh, the word hump. So you write uh, the word hump on the board and then proceed. Any other ideas? The third student answers, hot temperature, the fourth student, walking long distance, and then you proceed. You might talk about the heat in the desert, and you write uh, the word heat on the board. How do we, we measure that? Follow-up question may continue, if you want. Uh, the first student answers, degree, and the teacher proceeds, yes, in degrees. Anything else? So in this way, you continue until you are uh, satisfied that your students have some kind of um, warm-up. Then uh, you can conclude and get to the activity. Well, some of you guessed correctly and some of you are wrong. Let's listen and see who was right. This is how uh, it can be done. Tip number five, management. Set manageable tasks. This is a must. As a teacher, you need to set manageable tasks based on the time limit, level of your students, and the resources you have in your classroom, including even your classroom size. You must also establish and maintain orderly and workable routines to create an environment where students' time is spent on learning tasks. Tip number six, atmosphere or environment. Check for any outside disturbing noise before starting. We teachers must strive to create a good listening environment to support effective teaching and learning and maximize educational outcomes for students. The key benefits of improving the listening environment are sorry, uh, improved learning for all students, Improved learning for students with additional learning needs, improved behavior, you're going to achieve good classroom management, and uh, it ensures listening technology is effective. The last step is activity aims or purpose. Match the listening activities and the aims. When we give a listening activity, we need to be sure that we are clear about its aims or purpose so that we can select activities appropriately. What is the purpose behind the listening tasks we give out to the class? What do you want to achieve? These are key questions we need to ask ourselves when we select or design activities for listening skill. 
The task should always be adapted to our learner's level, age, and the specific needs, and we need to carefully examine their level of difficulty and what the purpose behind each listening task is. So, um, listening aims or purposes may include the following, listening for just, listening to reorder a jumbled dialogue, listening for specific information in a longer text, listening to match words with their definitions, listening for true or false information, listening for dictation, listening for word stress, and listening to complete table. So you can manipulate all these options uh, in your classroom. Well, uh, this will take us to the end of our today's video. I hope you have loved and learned from this video. If you do have any questions, you can write it down under my comment section of the video. Don't forget to like and share the video. And of course, uh, if you are new here, subscribe to my channel for more similar videos. I'm going to see you next week. Bye-bye for today.